Hey guys, uh, EFC fan camera here today. Today we're going to look at how Everton may look in 2015-16 season. Um, well, obviously a few players linked with us and a few players who are linked with going out. So let's just start off with the players who are linked with leaving Everton. They, one of them is John Stones, a uh, brilliant centre-back, very young, linked with Chelsea, who were apparently the favourites for him. Apparently going to put in a bid. And um, I doubt it'll happen, but you never know. Chelsea might come in for an offer, which we can't really say no to, and he may go. Because John Terry, he's a great player, but he is getting older, and Chelsea do need um, a replacement for him. Another player linked with leaving is Seamus Coleman, and now this fella. Um, bought him for about 60 grand. He is heavily linked with the Moose Man United. Apparently they're going to bid for about 20 million or 15. I would say if Man United want to have a fair chance of guessing him, they've got to bid about 25 million or 30 if they want to have any chance of guessing him. Now, this Dan here is obviously a player who was signed for Bournemouth today officially, so he will not be playing for his next season. Naismith, probably going to be on the bench a bit more next season. Still a great player. Barry, to be honest with you, he's not going to play much next season. Probably one of the bench warmer because we have got Tom Cleverley in now and we are going to look to get some more signings in. Scott Dan, hopefully we'll get him, him in, but the, the price tag for him is pretty ridiculous. 15 million. I say it's worth about 10. De La Feu, now he just signed from Barcelona recently. Now this kid was a fan favourite when he came here. And yeah, he went back to Barcelona. They didn't really like him there. And then he went on loan to Sevilla. They didn't like him there. He's come back to Everton. Now hopefully he can do better there. Um, McGeady, he is pretty much going to Celtic. He wants to go back. I can't blame him. He's pretty terrible, to be honest. I mean, he's only got pace and skill. Apart from that, he can't exactly do much. He's been pretty bad almost every game for us this season, bar one, which is against Leicester, where he scored an absolute worldie. Uh, Lukaku, he may go to Roma, but I doubt it'll happen. Barkley wants to go up top with Lukaku, so yeah, that may happen. Now, Dries Mertens, sorry for pronouncing his first name wrong, plays from Napoli. Linked with the move to Everton, were favourites for him apparently, but also Inter Milan want him. He may want to stay in Italy, or he may want to come to the Premier League. It's up to him if an, off if an offer does come through. Cleverly recently joined from Man United. To be honest with you, it never worked at Man United, but I thought he was okay at Villa, and I think he'll be okay at Everton. Morale has linked with the move to Monaco, and back to Olympiacos, but, and Spurs want him as well. That is probably the most likely out of all of them. So, but I'm hopeful that he will stay, but I wouldn't be too surprised if he did, did leave. McCarthy, another player linked away, that's very unlikely. Cause, um, because there hasn't been too much news of it for the last week or two, and once that happens, it, us it usually means that he isn't really going anywhere. Ogbonna, we are supposed to be the favourites after him. After he apparently rejected West Ham, don't know if it's true or not, but yeah, he may come to Everton. Um, Sam Byram, he is only here because he is linked with Everton because Coleman may go to Man United and Byram would probably be an ideal replacement. He's young, he's quick, he's 70 rated, he's got tons of potential and his stats just say that he, he can improve. Um... He's got some good speed, good agility. His jumping's all right, and his stats are only like that because he's young. But yeah, he's got plenty of time to develop, and hopefully get near the 80s when he's about 25 or 20 or 26. Bezic, uh, yeah, he's gonna be staying, probably on the bench a bit more, because we are getting more in. Osman, doubt he'll play much. Um, Alcar has been released. Pinar wouldn't be surprised if he left. Oviedo. Hope he has an injury free season. Garbutt. Now, he recently signed a five year deal. 
but we do not know whether he will go out to, to Bournemouth or not. Apparently they don't want him anymore. Apparently Swansea are close to agreeing a deal to take him on loan. And to answer with you, he probably needs to go out on loan because he, he does want experience, but I would say in the next year or two he's going to be number one. Then after, after that, Brendan Galloway will be number, number one. Stanek won't play tour next season. McElhaney might get a game or two. This junior fella, he hasn't played a single game for Everton. He's been here for years. Wouldn't they be too surprised if he left? He's got good balance. Browning, he's going to go on loan to Cardiff, apparently. Galloway, one for the future. He'll play a few next season if he doesn't go on loan. Dan, hopefully he uh, signs. Atsu, he's gone to Bournemouth. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... I will see you at the start of the season for the opening day against Watford, and that is it for now.